हेलो डी स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस ऑनलाइन क्लास वीडियो दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ इलेवेंथ चैप्टर एरिया एंड इट्स बाउंड्री ऑफ क्लास फाइव सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स एंड आई एम जय प्रकाश एस्ट ऑफ द क्लास नाउ लेट्स नो द टूडेज टॉपिक नेम एंड इट इज एरिया एंड पैरामीटर आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेड अ वीडियो टू अंडरस्टैंड एरिया एंड पैरामीटर इट इज कम्प्लीटली बेस्ड ऑन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एरिया एंड पैरामीटर इट्स पार्ट वन ऑफ चैप्टर थ्री हाउ मेनी स्क्वायर्स so you can watch this video and its link i will provide in the description box must watch that now once again let's summarize these terms area and perimeter so to understand this here we have a rectangular shape with dimension 6 cm and 5 cm and you can see that this shape is completely filled with this orange color so this space is known as its area are in sentence you can say that uh, occupied space by any flat surface is known as its area and now let's understand what is perimeter so you can see that the length of this boundary will be known as its perimeter okay so in this way we have understand what is area and what is perimeter now come to the topic whose slice is bigger so Parth and Gini bought arm papad means dried mango slice from a shop their pieces looked like this so first piece is here with a dimension 6 cm and 5 cm so here is a question that both could not make out whose piece was bigger so suggest some ways to find out whose piece is bigger and discuss so here is piece b with dimension 11 cm and 3 cm so there are many ways to understand that which piece is bigger piece a or piece b so simply what will we do we will find their area both are rectangles so use the formula of area for a rectangle so come to piece a and area of a rectangle is length into breadth right so it will be 6 cm multiplied by 5 cm so 6 by the it will be 30 square cm similarly for piece b it will be area is equal to length into breadth it means it will be 11 cm multiplied by 3 cm so overall its area will be 33 square cm so now here you can see that piece a is only 30 square cm and piece b is 33 square cm so now we can say that piece b is bigger than piece a and by how many means how much more is piece b so just find their difference 33 uh, square cm minus 30 square cm so you will get only 3 square cm so you can say that piece b is 3 uh, square cm bigger than a uh, piece a now a friend of parth and gini showed one way using small squares okay so their friends means he is suggesting one uh, activity to find that which is bigger so what is the activity let's know that the length of piece a is 6 cm so 6 squares of side 1 cm can be arranged along its length that's true and the width of piece a is 5 cm so 5 squares can be arranged along its width it's also true so let's do this here we have uh, piece a so length is 6 cm this is length so we can arrange uh, one square centimeter square in its length so let's arrange it so here it will be one uh, let me mark first one two three then four five and six okay sizes can be smaller and bigger so don't mind it so let me make it first okay one two three four five and six and five centimeter width so we can arrange a uh, five one Two, three, then four and five. So one, two, three, 
4 and 5 so you can see that this one okay each is uh, each square is having one square centimeter so by length we have arranged six squares one two three four five and six you can count and similarly in width we have arranged five squares one two three four and five so you can count the all squares and you will get it will be 30 squares okay the number of square sheets will be 30 similarly in piece b you can also arrange uh, 11 centi uh, 11 squares in uh, length means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 okay in this way you can arrange 11 squares sheets then uh, by width you can arrange only three squares so it will be good like this so now overall you will found that here are 33 square sheets so here in this way you can also compare that which one is bigger so in this activity we also found that piece B is uh, bigger than piece A now next altogether how many squares can be arranged on it altogether means in piece a we can arrange 30 square sheets now so the area of piece a is equal to we can write 30 square centimeter here you can see that activity was done here which we have done already for piece a now in the same way find the area of piece B we have already done it and it was 33 square centimeter now who had uh, the bigger piece so piece B how much bigger we have already find their difference 3 square centimeter piece B is bigger with 3 square centimeter now cover with stamps okay another activity so this stamp has an area of 4 square centimeter so here we can see this yellow sheet and one stamp is here with area 4 square centimeter it is its area area of stamp paper why i am saying this that 4 square centimeter is its area because you can see the unit it is mentioned here it is square means centimeter so if any unit has a square word in its unit so that will be its area remember that okay so it's an square and having area 4 square centimeter so what will be its length yes its length will be 2 centimeter by 2 centimeter okay then 2 to the 4 square centimeter will be its area area is 4 square centimeter remember that and its dimensions are 2 by 2 now guess how many such stamps will cover this big rectangle means this yellow rectangles will uh, cover how many stamp sheets so how can we do this so there are many ways so first uh, an activity let's do it so what will we do just try to put uh, this type of stamps in this yellow sheet okay then you will find the total number of stamps clear then you will multiply that number of stamps with its area of one uh, stamp that is four for example uh, let's know that uh, let's take suppose that they, there are uh, 28 square sheets are filling this uh, yellow star yellow sheet okay so number of stamp is 28 we have taken so what will be the area of this yellow rectangle so 28 multiply by 4 so you will get uh, 112 square centimeter okay suppose that we have taken 28 number of total stamps and in another way what can we do just measure the length of this yellow rectangle and width then multiply length and breadth then you will find its area now let's come to the next check your guess measure the yellow rectangle it is dash centimeter long so same thing is here it is also saying that measure the length and width so we found the length was 14 centimeter long when I measured okay now how many stamps can be placed along its length 
so if the length of one stamp is here two centimeter okay it is two centimeter only width it is two centimeter length okay and the length of the stamp is 14 centimeter overall so how many stamps we can put so divide this number 14 divided by 2 so 2 7 are 14 so we can say that 7 stamps can be put here okay in length similarly in breadth how many stamps we can put first we have to find the breadth of this stamp uh, sorry this yellow rectangle sheet and it was when I measured and I found it was only 8 centimeter in width so how many stamps we can put so divide these numbers 8 divided by 2 so you will get 4 so 4 stamps we can put in width now come to the next questions how many stamps can be placed along its length so it is 7 and here we found 14 centimeter in uh, length how wide is the rectangle it was 8 centimeter how many stamps can be placed along its width divide uh, the length of the stamp by the length of this rectangle so 8 divided by 2 so you will get 4 so 4 stamps now how many stamps are needed to cover uh, to cover the rectangles so now here you have to understand that in length uh, 7 stamps can be put and in width we can put only 4 stamps so how many stamps we can put so multiply this number 7 multiply by 4 so it will be 28 7 4 is 28 so 28 stamps we can uh, put in this yellow rectangle now how close was your earlier guess it was pretty good now what is the area of the rectangle in square centimeter so there are two ways to find the area of this rectangle what is the first way so in first way as I have told you find the total number of stamps so it was 28 okay so 28 is the total number of stamps and area of one stamp is 4 square centimeter okay so area of the all stamps will be the area of the yellow rectangle sheet so it will be 112 square centimeter clear now in second way uh, what you will do just multiply the length and width to find its area so use the area of rectangle so area is equal to length into breadth we are finding the area of yellow rectangle remember that so what was its length it was 14 centimeter and breadth it was 8 so now multiply these numbers 8 4 are 32 it is 2 3 is carried 8 1 8 9 10 11 1 1 2 in both condition we found 1 1 2 square centimeter okay so here you can write 112 square centimeter so in two ways we found this now last is what is the perimeter of the rectangle so use the formula of perimeter so let's use it the length was uh, 14 centimeter and breadth was 8 so use the formula first is sum of all side okay it's a rectangle the length is 14 and it is 8 it is 14 it is 8 so sum of the all side okay it means 14 plus 14 plus 8 plus 8 so add the all numbers 14 plus 14 plus 8 plus 8 and here you can write uh, perimeter then perimeter is equal to uh, 14 plus 14 28 plus 8 plus 8 it is 16 now at last you can add this number 8 plus 6 it is 4 and uh, 14 so 4 will be written here and 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 1 4 so 44 centimeter will be its perimeter